Oh yeah, that took a lot longer than I thought it. Um, I had some issues with my computer. My computer decided to freeze up. Fucking couldn't restart. And my hand is tired from mashing X so much. Oh my god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is important. So, this is actually where the, uh... uh let me move a couple things around. This is actually where the... the first choice takes place. Okay. So, uh, the guy that says first step. So I was doing, I was doing it right, and I said, wait a second. We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? Okay, so then he says that, and I gotta say, there's still, or, uh, we're missing something. Something we don't know. That's, I'm on the right what path. What don't we know? Okay, so then, this isn't a good fucking guide. I think this is the Japanese one. And the... Oh, God. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> what the fuck? How do I do shit? Oh, God. Uh... God damn it. I think I gotta question his true feelings. Um... They're giving me a whole bunch of shit after. Is this it? Sorry, I want to make sure I've got this right. Uh, okay, it's got to be... Oh, fuck. Like... Oh, my God. I need to get this right. This is bullshit. Uh, I was, no, this isn't working properly. Oh my god. I'm sorry, this is really... Because I quickly realized that all of a sudden... Nope, not the right ending. Okay, hold on. December. Third. Seriously? What the fuck? No! Oh, IGN, you are always failing me. Uh... Is this... Aha! Okay. Ah! <laughs> I finally found it. So apparently I got bad ending three. So I'm not the best, but not the worst. Okay. Let's just say this. I'm sorry, I really want to get this properly done. Feelings on TV. Yeah, yeah. What didn't you understand? Um, something's bothering me. I'm not even well, like, weighing the other options. I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? Uh, because escape via the TV. No, we're missing something. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it! I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Okay. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Uh, calm the hell down. Yelled at everyone to calm down. <laughs> and he's freaking out in the corner. Okay. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. You don't sound like it. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. The same thing as what I was saying before. Not, not all of it added up. I just did two three what options. What happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san? We're not thinking straight right now. Fine. Hey! Everyone took a deep breath. It seemed that everyone's finally regained their composure. You're good. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. 
Okay. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. Yeah, wouldn't we, wouldn't we want to ask about that, right? There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. Uh, okay. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. True to form, now so. Making shit make sense. Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Alright. Let's, let's just think for now. Let's just think for now. I'm pretty Jeez. sure I don't have How an option. How the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> Alright. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. Okay. I did it? We leave any unanswered questions behind. We'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. We did it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. Okay, this is taking a sharp turn. The investigation team now is one closer to the truth. It seems that you will go on with your friends to solve another mystery. Hey! Okay, all is right in the world. Alright, we are. We're on the right track now. Wow, that is kind of retarded. That's actually kind of stupid. How it's such a specific path. Loki. It's such a specific path to get to here. Time pain the ass. Like, so important. Alright, damn. If you use Loki, the shapeshifter. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, this makes sense. I played Persona 3. I know what's up. Yeah. Let's establish new bond. Brings you closer to the truth. I should be blessed with creating personas of the Judgment Arcana. Yes. So essentially, Fool gets replaced by Judgment. And we did good things. Establish the Seekers of the Truth, Social Link of the Judgment Arcana, and an XP bonus when fusing personas of the Judgment Arcana. Okay. You guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. You're doing important work, damn it. Oh crap. We were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Yeah, you know you know what to say. Oh. I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. Fine. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. 
Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Okay. Fine. Understood. We should go too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. I I did it. I am on the path to the true ending. There are multiple more steps to go, though. A pain in the ass. So. Yeah. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? That's a good question, too. Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? But the fog's a big deal as well. That's... So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. Okay. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. Or, well, maybe. I don't know. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh, I don't really get any of this. You're useful. Ugh, this is so confusing. Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Shush! We're thinking. Oh, there you are, all of you. Now what? Please come with me immediately. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Huh? What's, what's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go. This, this whole sequence is such a clusterfuck and I've gone through it twice now. God damn it. What's this? Teddy? How's Teddy doing? Where am I? What the hell's up now? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right. Nana-chan. Uh, I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? Oh no. I couldn't keep my promise. Don't do this, Teddy. I lost my reason to be there. That's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys. Sensei. What should I do? Oh no, Teddy's lost. That's not good. I gotta find Teddy now. The hell? No good. He's a vital, vital to my team. Oh, Is that there they are. Nanako chan came around. So she came around again. No matter. Okay. Huh? What did you just say? I'm surprised she didn't just stay dead in the bad ending then. The hell? Nanako chan's alive. Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's. Yeah, you, until I know what. Yeah, we've already been through this, not, so. So, so this isn't a joke. You're actually telling the truth. This is the exact same scene. Not a good This is now we have more insight on in what Teddy's doing. Oh my! <laughs> this is amazing. Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. Yeah. I. 
I didn't know what I was gonna do. Well, they're saying slightly different things. Slightly different things, but yeah, it's the same deal. Right. Come on. Cry. Sorry, I know I'm skipping this, but it's because we've already been over this. You all should go home for the night. That's new. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Thanks. Wait a second, where's Teddy? Uh, there's Teddy, yeah. I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I, I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? We don't know. Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. Ah! I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Good choice. Okay. So you didn't think about the the bad end. You don't think about the cell phone either. Oh goodness. I guess you see the note. I'm so. I couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why, Mayumi? And that girl too. The hell? I couldn't save them. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. Oh. Okay. So he couldn't save them, meaning as he, he would toss the people in there when they came back out, he's like, yo, I just saved them. No, I saved them, though. Why don't we have our glasses on? Yeah. Oh. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. I do too. I... That's uh, snowing. Oh! It's snow. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. It's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Sounds like a good plan. Ah, oh, damn, Yosuke. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. We had a close call with killing people. Very close call. Back in Namatai's room, was it really right to stop everyone from doing what they were about to do? Yes. I figured that out the hard way. Now you have no way of knowing. Yes, I do. <laughs> I sure do. You remember that your cell phone's been off the entire time since you're at the hospital. Yeah, let's check my phone. Something new in my inbox. Co! It's Co, I heard what happened to your little cousin. Is there anything you can do to help? Let me know. You know I'm there for you, right? We're best friends. Hell yeah. Hey, it's Daisuke. I just heard about Nanako. Chan. How's she's doing? If there's anything I can do to help you guys, Zed, please tell me ASAP. Got the guts, man! Gotta be brave. Hell yeah. Checked all your messages. They're from your friends in town. Oh, thanks. They, you remember that you have friends who are there to help encourage each other. The case is still mired in an impenetrable fog, but you must continue forth toward the truth. You should, home. you should go home before you catch cold. So probably if I got more actual people, social rank, rank 10 would be better versus the fox. And Kiko's there too, so... If I finished Yumi, she probably would have left a message as well. Okay, let's fucking save! Holy Christ. Uh, yeah, well... We'll save over my third. I started using the third slot. Ah! Uh, I got like saves galore now. And what happened in Namatami's hospital room as well? Since we're gonna fall in the fog, completely envelops the town. What's gonna happen? Feel exhausted? Best if you went to bed. Hell yeah, let's sleep. Alright, okay, I almost ace the uh, final in my redo. I fucked up on the very last question I had to answer. Oh, hey, what the hell? <laughs> 